Oh well. Hello. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome to Deja Vu Day, aka April Fool's Day. Promise is on an April Fool's joke though. Pinky pinky promise. Um super excited for this. I'm like so nervous. Was like very nervous last night. Hope y'all like this song. Um, oh, thank you. Kristen also got me donuts. Stay repping. Um, so good. One second. Let me finish this so I don't want to take a slob on camera. Um, bit of an announcement. This and then somebody actually leaked it this morning, which made me really sad, but... It is what it is. Um, so, originally the plan was to do an EP, right? And then Driver's License came out, and I was like, oh my god, like, y'all really love Driver's License. This is in incredible. And I really didn't think that the EP was the best I could do. So, I really wanted to make an album. And so, actually, we made an album. It's 11 songs. I actually turned it in today. So, I've been a little bit, like, MIA on socials and stuff because I've literally been making my first album for the past like two months um and so it's been really incredible I'm so so proud of it it's super like versatile and like I think it's just really like some one of my like best like pieces of work I guess my only piece of work is my first album but um so yeah I like literally turned that in today in in real life time which is weird but you can pre-save the album today as well. Um, so stoked and um, really excited for you to hear this song and, you know, how it sits on the album and all of that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I've been like waiting to make that announcement for a really long time. And so I'm so, so stoked. Um, and I can't wait. To, we're going to like share the track list soon and it's going to be a cool thing. I'm so stoked for it. I also like don't know how to work my bangs. Like I had them for like ooh, truck out there. Had them for like a month. And I like not a month. I don't know how long I've had them, but I truly just like do not know how to work them. Um also new deja vu mer merch. Um I think it's so cute. This is one of the shirts. This is deja vu. Um I love like a little tank. So these are going to be live when the song comes out, I suppose. There's also some like Really cute, um, like sets, like sweatpants, sweatshirt sets, and like some crop tops and stuff like that. I'm like really proud of the merch that we did for this stuff. I think it's really cute and stuff that I like wear on like a daily basis. So hopefully, y'all like it too. Um, I'm super, super excited for this song and the music video too. Um, I shot this music video, um, I, like relatively like not very long ago <laughs> um it's kind of like a rush to get it in but um Ali Avital directed it and my friend Talia Ryder is in it with me um she's so incredible both of them are just incredible creative people and wonderful women um and uh I really wanted to like make a like a like a like a movie music video not every artist is like oh well, my music video would be a movie but I like really wanted it to be like narrative based and it's sort of tells a story that y you wouldn't really expect to come from um, like the narrative of the song. It's sort of like a little like separate entity, which I really like. Um, and I think it's like really aesthetically beautiful too. Um, very proud of it. And I'm very excited for you guys to see that. It was super fun to film and I love doing music videos. It's like my favorite thing ever. Um, so I really hope that y'all like this song. I'm a little bit nervous, but it's okay. Um, I have an apple fritter here. Literally, apple fritters are my favorite. So good. Um, I think I'm going live after this, too. I literally just turned my album, and, like, my brain is <laughs> so, like, gone. Like, I, I have, like, like, no ridges in my brain. My brain is just smooth head empty, no thoughts. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm like going off weird, but I'm so excited for you guys to hear it. Oh my God, it's gonna be so much fun. And I can't wait to tour it too, hopefully one of these days. 
And once getting the vaccine, it like feels like it's like, just feels like there's light at the end of the tunnel. I'm super stoked. Um, but I'm very excited for you guys to see Deja Vu today. I wrote it like, I wrote it last fall with my friend and collaborator Dan Nigro. Um, we wrote it like, like, I think it was like the next song we wrote after Driver's License. And it's a lot different than Driver's License, which I really like. Um, but it was like also really fun to sort of play with that. Like, I like love, like the, like, like what I love to do is like write like ballads and like sad songs. And I feel like I'm really good at that, but it was really fun to sort of make like this, <clears throat> like indie pop song-ish. And that's what I kind of consider this song to be. And so it was really fun to like stretch my muscles in that world. And um, yeah, it's really fun to work with Dan. And yeah, I don't know what Dan is gonna do today. We've been working on the album for like so long. Oh, thank you. I'm going live after this, right? Uh, this afternoon with Tanya. On Instagram? Okay, okay. What time do you know? Like 12.30ish? We'll make an announcement. Okay, okay. Make an announcement on my G. I'm so bad at times. Um, we got a, we got a Harry Potter mug full of tea here. I actually got these for Kristen for Christmas one year. Cheers. 